Today, I'll be making my first video game that I'll actually publish. I've been using Unity for a total of like one month now, not including the time I've made sprites. So of course I need to make my own game, because I have enough experience to create a real game and totally publish it. So, keep watching to find out how an idiot like me made a masterpiece of crap. So the first thing I want to pick are uh, circles, because circles are cool. I totally didn't pick it because it's default and I don't have to make any animations for it, nope. I want this to be a mobile game, so I programmed, and when I mean program, I mean search up tutorial for mobile swipe controls. And after a little while, I have some basic movement. I also wanted to create a little dust jump effect with Unity's particle system really quick, so I went and did that. But for some reason, the circle looks a little too stiff, if you know what I mean. So I think we need to fix that. We can either do A, not to waste four hours of my life trying to create a character with soft body physics, or we can waste four hours on soft body physics, which packs a lot of bugs and will give me a pain in the ass in the future. The answer is pretty obvious, only a dumbass would ever pick B, do soft body physics. And I just so happened to be very dumb. I decided to use soft body physics which is pretty dumb of me. Some of you might not know what soft body physics is, because you're not big brain, like me. So, allow me to explain. It's basically just a body that's soft. Unity only allows you to have something called a rigid body, which means it's just a body that's rigid, which means it doesn't bend or fold. Soft body makes it's soft, so then it actually does bend and fold. And since I'm so smart, this should be a walk in the park for me. Because I'm a programmer, and programmer is pog. Oh god, I don't think it's supposed to do that. Okay, now it should definitely work. After spending a little bit more time than I wanted trying to create soft body, it actually works now. Now the character is working great with no bugs at all. A few moments later. We need a background next for the game, of course. So I went on a one hour hunt trying to find a background that doesn't suck and trying to make my own. And my own sucks. So um, Google, my friend, has a lot of backgrounds. Now that we have a player and some movement, we need a map, which is essential for a good game. Because without a map, then your game sucks. And it just so happens that I am a map expert, and I know what I'm doing. Chicken lol, I have no idea what I'm doing, I've never made maps before. So I set up a square, and an epic square, and a box collider. You may ask, why does it have no detail? But don't worry, shut up, I'm working on it. We'll just put it with the rest of the broken stuff. But to be honest, I do want to make the experience more immersive for the user, so what I'll be adding is some awesome lighting. I got this thing called a universal render pipeline, and I put it on and it almost deleted my whole project. And after a few hours and totally no pain, I have finally got lights working, and I attached something called a point light to my player. And it looks pretty nice, it gives it like a dungeon kind of vibe. I found the perfect torch sprite online as well, so I added a light to that, and some particles using Unity's particle system. But Unity decided to give me errors, so I just went yeet on my code and deleted half of it. And now it works, hooray, it's totally working perfectly, yes. I added a bunch of torches around the map, and it's actually starting to look pretty good. I also added lava because I want a level to have a dungeon themed style. And I also created some code that it destroys the player when it collides in lava. And then it puts a prefab, which is Unity's particle system, and it summons it and plays it. So then it looks like real blood. And this was totally no problem for a gamer like me who knows all about coding and being smart, which I totally didn't take me another two hours and was totally fixed by two clicks. So for the area of the map, I want this to have this thing where the player has to crash into a thing and it has like a breaking effect, but I'm not really sure 
how to actually do that. So I just added four blocks, made them really light. And but then this looks really trash. So I created a box, which is kind of like a glass and it's light blue. And if you collide with it, it destroys an impact. And then there's particles that play, which makes you think it's kind of like a breaking effect. But the thing still looks really bad because I can't do anything correctly, but we'll just put it with the rest of them. I set up this test map so I can use to test some things like glass, spikes, and particles. But we still need something very important. It's called an explosion barrel. A totally original and fun thing that hasn't been used in every single game you've seen. This explosion barrel can basically just, if you collide on it, it'll add force outwards. Which is pretty pog. So right now, it kind of looks like PowerPoint the game. So I wanted some better graphics. So I asked Unity, can you make the game better? And they said, sure. So now the game is post-processing, and it looks kind of okay. It's basically just covered in makeup. It has, like, blue to the max, and big net, if that's how you pronounce it. So when you go and move, it's like a little black effect. I also added a slow-mo effect, which makes everything look a little better, and it's easier to control when you try to move now. It's also extremely simple. All you need is around two lines of code, and it works very well. Slow-mo gives the player a lot of control, and it makes it easier to do tough turns, so it's a great add-on. And it's also pretty pog. I also added a physics material 2D with the bouncy level of 0.7. I think it's a cool add-on because if you hit the ground enough, it bounces a little bit and looks kind of like jiggly, and it looks kind of fun. I also want this game to be really fun to speedrun, even though it's a mobile game, but it feels really nice, so with the correct movement, if you hit the barrels in the right direction, you can pick up a lot of speed. I added a bunch of new effects that make the game look really nice. I added some lava, and I added some particles to the lava, and I went into Unity, and there are no more triangles, so I had to go to Microsoft Paint. Um, Go to Unity Discord, I don't know what I'm doing, and they all made fun of me. And so I ditched Unity, went to Microsoft Paint, and made a triangle. And I created a tag called Death. Basically, it just creates a game object, and it plays this weird code thingy I don't understand, and I didn't steal at all from a tutorial. Yes. It also destroys the player and makes the player die, and it'll probably show... Uh, a canvas that says game over, but I'm dumb and I haven't implemented that yet. So, uh, yes, totally pog. I tried to create a main menu, which actually sucks ass, because I don't know how buttons or main menus work. So, which, it's that's not pog, but it'll be fine, because I'm an epic gamer. I also started working on the second map. It's called Snow Map. I think I'm going to call it Snowy Snow, because I'm uncreative. Anyways, there'll be more maps to come, but we'll do that next devlog if I actually make any more videos, because I'm totally good at uploading and stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe, and yeah, links in the description. I need to sleep. I, I'm dead. I don't want to do this. I've just worked on a game jam. I'm also still dead. Uh, and I'll also be calling the game Bounce With It, because I have no better ideas, and... For some reason, that name really stuck, but if you have any better ideas, just leave it in the comments or something.